Welcome to today's class with Yoga with Dora. And today we have moved up to the throat energy center. Uh, it's uh, connected. Uh, we have an easy job now because from it keeps saying where it is. So the throat energy center, center of the throat. And it's really all about communication, expressing ourselves openly, positively, and from the heart, when we connect it to the heart center, lovingly. Uh, so we're going to work with the neck, shoulders, opening and lifting. Okay, get into a comfortable seated position, allowing yourself to soften into your centering position. Roll the shoulders back, close the eyes if you feel comfortable, and just arrive to the mat, tuning into the sensations in your physical body, Allowing your breath to be at the center of your awareness, lifting the top of the head up towards the ceiling and allowing the sit bones to relax down towards the floor. A few deep breaths here on the exhalation, navel comes to the spine, relaxing, releasing into the exhalation. And on the inhalation, expanding, filling up allowing the lungs to fill up to the maximum capacity. Just staying here for a few more deep breaths. Softening into the breath, tuning into this rhythm that when, no matter what happens on the outside, when you come to your mat, when you start to notice the physical body, you st start to notice the rhythm of your breath. Things suddenly start to just come into this calmness. Let's make our intention. Left palm coming to the heart center, right palm covers it. And the intention with today's class is to bring balance into the throat center to connect, to communicate freely, openly, lovingly, to be able to speak what is our truth. Let's seal that intention in with the Om Mantra. The throat energy center is connected to the ether element and is connected to the sound. So mantras are an amazing way to balance the throat center. You can join in or just let the sound vibrate through you, starting on the next exhalation. vibrating through you. If you were chanting out loud, you may have noticed that it's starting at the navel and moves through the heart, throat, third eye and the top of the head. Mm, relax the hands, open up the eyes. Starting with the seated cat cows, relax on the hands, anywhere on the legs. Inhalation, opening up, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, opening the throat up. And on the exhalation, neighbor to the spine, bring the chin in. So just really nice and comfortable, depending on what you have been doing during the day. 
how your spine is feeling really soften into this movement we're just checking in tuning in in these short classes everything is a little bit quicker so just mindful of how you're feeling bring the chin in and when you're coming forward open the chest and open the throat so notice that the focus is there today Just one more. And then come back to the center. Lengthen, hands can rest on the knees. Inhale, lift the top of the head up. And on the exhalation, just turn the head, chin parallel to the ground to the right. Only take your range of movement. And on the inhalation, bring it back to the center. Exhale, turn it to the left. Your range only and come back to the center. Continue with the rhythm of your own breath. The secret here is you keep the spine lengthened, the neck is nice and long, chin is parallel to the ground and a little bit tucked in, and we're only moving in until we feel no resilience. Before we reach the resilience in the movement, in our range of movement, we just relax and come back so we're not forcing the movement in the neck but it's almost like we're breathing through and we are expanding and ra our range if your neck is an area which can hold a lot of tension so the tightness there these are the exercises postures that i would recommend daily that you really consciously move with the breath last one to the left then come back to the center coming into the shoulder shrugs bring the shoulders up and just drop them down up and exhale down it's like the weight of the world is on your shoulder and you bring it up and you shrug it down so obviously your shoulder is hurting then just go very softly if you don't have any problems with the shoulders you can pick up the pace Hopefully that's not going to be <laughs> a really horrible sound on the microphone. So just a few, creating movement here, nice and relaxed. Top of the head always reaching up. Chin parallel, just creating a little bit of energy here. And relax it, coming to our side bends. Keep your left leg in extend the right leg out to the center you can sit on a block or a blanket as well relax in here reach the left arm up sit bone reaches down and on the exhalation just softly relax towards the right you can bend the arm and just hold the opposite ear so you really soften here and try to open up the chest is opening up the shoulders are stacked on top of each other and just relax that right ear towards the right shoulders shoulder feel a gentle opening the left side of the body soften here you can go a little bit deeper or you can come back and just checking into that opening in the armpit rooting down with the hip and inhale expand that arm up very slowly reach towards the ceiling come up halfway relax that left hand around 45 degrees and soften the right ear towards the right shoulder now and you have to play around a little bit here you may want to turn the grace toward the knee right knee and we fiddle around until you feel a really soft stretch in the left side of the neck so just find a position that feels nice and relaxed here and you may have to lower that left arm and just breathe into here maybe you feel comfortable closing your eyes breathe into that soft spot in the scalings in the side of the neck so important to keep the throat and the neck the energy moving flowing because even though it's a short space is the direct connection between the head and the heart so 
physically connected to blood pressure, emotionally connecting the mind and the heart together. And then softly bring the right palm to the right ear, guide it back to the center, relax the hands and swap over. We only did it for a short time, you probably feel the difference, but I will invite you to do it longer if these are areas which are sensitive for you. Left leg extending out, right hand reaches up, root down with the right sit bone, inhale, and on the exhalation, softly relax into the side bend. So you can have that arm extended or bending and holding the opposite ear. Just make sure that you open up in the heart, shoulders are stacked up on top of each other. You feel that space in the armpit in the whole of the right side of the waistline, relaxing in here, breathing deeply. I automatically close my eyes here because it feels so nice just to relax in here and to soften here. So when we're working with shoulders and neck, always think about breathing into it and relaxing it not forceful, no sudden movements. One more breath in here. And then inhale, lengthen up, reach that right arm up, bring it down. Fortify the gaze a little, or a little bit lower and release the left ear to the left shoulder. Maybe you need to turn the gaze towards the knee a little bit Play around with the arms and the gaze until you feel that soft spot on the side of the neck. And one side may be completely different to the other. So physically, if we have a lot of issues with shoulders, neck, throat, inflammations. But sometimes a sign that this energy center is blocked and then you're either not saying what you want to say or you say negative things. You don't allow your true self to come through. And then the body signals immediately. Let's bring that left palm to the left ear, guide your head back, come back to the center, bring the leg in and we make our way into all four. So coming into all four and then bring the weight forward into your half plank, activate the core, tuck the tailbone under, slowly bend the elbows, come down to the floor, stretch the toes away. Inhale, press the pelvis to the ground, roll the shoulders away from the ears, come into a soft cobra. Exhale, seat bone reaches towards the heels, softening into a child's pose, just relaxing. Here we're going through the vinyasa again, coming forward into our half plank, lengthening, activating the core, bending the elbows, releasing all the way to the floor stretching the toes away, hugging the pelvis to the mat. Inhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Come up, active whole core, lower back is nice and protected and reach back into your child's pose. Just one more from this flu. Inhale, come forward and lengthen. Release to the floor. Inhale, open up, roll the shoulders away, throat is open. Exhale, push back into your down, uh, sorry, into your child's pose, no down dog. And then come forward into the all fours. We're coming into a lounge, so if you have a blanket or block, you're more than welcome to bring it close to you. And just softly press the right, bring the right leg forward, roll the shoulders back, arrive into your lounge, lengthen here look ahead open up the throat and you can stay here or if you're okay to rise up activate the core tuck the tailbone under and come up and bring the hands to the heart reach up and extend with the top of the head 
squeeze the glutes, activate the core. You can stay here or we can inhale, lift the arms up and extend the arms up, rolling the shoulders back, nice and soft. And then right arm reaches up, left arm comes down and we're going to bring the right palm in between the shoulder blades. Left hand just relaxes on the lower back right hand open up feel again this openness in openness in the armpit reach and extend gentle release in the front of the left thigh active core and then reach both arm ups arms up extend and on the exhalation come back slowly transfer the weight to the back leg bring the right leg back and come back come forward with the left leg coming into your lounge relax in here soften lengthen the top of the head away from the sit bone and then slowly rise up bring the palms together activate the core reach and lengthen so notice that there is place in the lower back and then if you want to go further, reach the arms up. Come in line with the ears so you have a mini back bend here. Opening. And then left hand reaches up, right hand comes down to the small of the back across. And then bending that left arm, palm comes, touches between the shoulder blades. Feel that opening in the chest, in the armpit soft gaze, soft neck, inhale, exhale, inhale, extend the arms up and on the exhalation release the hands back, slowly transfer the weight to the back leg and come back into the neutral position and come down into a seated position. So we're going to come into a seated pigeon right leg will come across the left leg underneath the knee and you can play around with bringing that left leg in or hopping towards the left leg hands behind you roll the shoulders back lengthen and we're gonna come a little bit uh, come and work a little bit with the neck inhale lift the top of the head up activate the core exhale bring the chin towards the chest inhale come up lengthen and on the exhalation chin comes towards the ceiling but keep the length in the neck inhale bring it back to the center exhale chin to chest feel that gentle stretch in the right hip inhale come up halfway exhale reach up inhale come up chin parallel to the ground exhale chin comes into the chest inhale parallel to the ground exhale chin coming towards the ceiling and then slowly bring the head back into neutral bend that left leg so I turn towards you that you can see me so you have the option of the right leg just coming in front of you in a cross-legged position or you can bring it in onto the knee or even into the half lotus when you bring the leg on the left thigh with the sole of the foot it's facing upwards and I'm going to move into a lovely little twist right hand comes behind you left hand anywhere on the leg roll the shoulders back lengthen and on the exhalation starting from the belly moving into the twist belly chest shoulder head turning last releasing into your twist keep both sit bones down towards the floor stay here i'm just going to turn back so i don't talk away from the microphone lift the top of the head up root down with the sit bones relax the shoulders away from the ears 
so your chest is nice and open, neck is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, on the next exhalation, slowly come back to the center, bring the hands in front of you and just walk a little bit forward. Just soften here, let the head relax. Don't force it, just walk until you feel comfortable. Reach the arms forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And slowly walk the hands back. And we're going to repeat this on the other side as well. Untangle the legs, stretch the legs out, maybe just extend them forward and give them a, a little massage. And then we're going on the other side. So this time the left leg will be coming in over the right leg. Play around with bringing that right leg in as much as you want to deepen that stretch. It's not a very strong hip uh, release, so just feel a lovely stretch on the other hip. Hands behind, lengthen and starting with the neck release. Inhale on the exhalation, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, parallel. Exhale the chin towards the ceiling, but lift and lengthen, soft movement. Continue with this, with the connection of your breath. Chin to the chest. So you're creating the chin lock, massaging the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. The beauty of balancing the endocrine system with yoga is that when you're activating the thymus so the, in the heart center or the parathyroid thyroid, with the breath, you don't need to know if you need to over or uh, under activate them. They just balance themselves. The body's natural balancing system kicks in. And then come back into the neutral and let's come into folding the turning at the same time towards you so you can have the left leg in front of you or on the knee or anywhere far away for you as well if uh, it's comfortable for the knee never push half lotus if it's uncomfortable for the knee it's a posture that you don't want to force on the body left hand behind right hand in front of you Lift and lengthen and on the exhalation, soften into that twist, starting from the belly chest, shoulders and the head moving last. Roll the shoulders back. Feel the shoulder blades working towards each other. The heart open. Neck and the shoulders are relaxed. Softening into the breath. And then slowly coming back to the center, stretch the legs out. And we're going to move into the shoulder stand, which is one of the most beneficial practices for balancing the throat energy center. The bridge position as well, which we did in the heart energy center, that's very balancing as well. But because the class is short, today we're going with the shoulder stand. So options are, 
If you have neck injury, shoulder injury, then don't go into shoulder stand. Just go either leg up the wall. When you put the scooch to the wall and put the leg up the air, I will link in. There is a video about it, how to go in there. So leg up the air, which is restorative. Or just bringing the legs. Uh, that's leg up the wall. This is leg up the air. With this one, your core needs to be active. Lower the back, the back press down and you lift the head, bring the chin in. Second version is that you lift the hip a little bit and you put blocks, blankets on the knees and then put the leg up. Or if you would like to go to the shoulder stand, I like to go into it with pressing the hands onto the floor, bringing the knees in, hugging the knees in, activating the core, pushing into the hand and pushing myself up that the, sh the knees come to the forehead then walking the hands in so this really supporting them lifting in the spine you can stay here or you can extend one leg and the other and whichever version you have chosen leg up the air elevated leg up the air shoulder stand we're going to stay there for at least five deep breaths so go whichever version you want to go in So when you're in the shoulder stand, very important, you don't turn your head. So your gaze is up towards the toes. You're activating the core and you're really lifting up. And there is no pressure on the neck whatsoever. It's a shoulder stand. The weight is only on the shoulders. But actually you're taking some of the weight off by lifting from the core. Deep breath. And if you're new to shoulder stand, just stay for one or two breaths until you can keep the breath deep. If you experience with shoulder stand, you can go into plow, which means that you very slowly with control, lower your feet behind your head. So you're bringing down the feet behind on the floor. And if you're here, you can release the hands and you can even walk the shoulder blades together and interlace the hands, okay? But if you're not sure with this, then come out and Watch the video, but try not to turn your head when you're in your shoulder stand, okay? Because it's quite easy to injure the neck pen. Breathing here. So you can feel that you're tucking the chin in and you're massaging the throat, the thyroids, parathyroids. So important for a hormonal balance. And you're lifting the sit bones towards the sky. So when you come out, very slowly, you can just work back, bringing the hands back, working the legs back. And very slowly, with control, active core, slow motion, you come down very, very controlled. Nice and easy. Okay, bring the leg down. Allow yourself to soften. Relax in here. Just take a moment to relax. And then you can come up the counter pose that you come up on the elbows like you want to check your toes. Walk the shoulder blades together and just softly let the head back a little bit. So again, very, very softly keeping the stretch in the neck. So just opening the throat until, and you can just hold it, or you're really comfortable with your neck, you can let it back. And just for a few breaths. And bring your head back. 
and just shimmy down shoulder blades let's arrive into shavasana and open the legs wide about hip distance apart palms at a comfortable distance shimmy the shoulders out close your eyes palms facing upwards and just relaxing here notice the sensations in the throat in the shoulders and the neck Allow the legs to relax. Allow the arms to relax. Allow the whole of the spine to relax. Allow the throat and the neck to relax. Allow the face to relax sides of the head and the back of the head relaxes and the top of the head relaxes bring your awareness to the throat and visualize a light blue color like when the sky is beautiful blue and the sun is shining and allow this color to surround your throat and your neck allow this color to vibrate around the throat and the neck going to chant the mantra hum h a m and just allow the mantra to vibrate through the neck to throat connected to the ether element the sound and mantras are sacred sounds you can imagine it like a zip file that when vibrates at a certain point in the body it opens up and expands so just allow yourself to soften focusing on the throat hum Hum. Hum. sound to surround the throat to recalibrate retune the throat energy center allowing it to open up to be able to speak from your heart to speak the truth, to speak openly, lovingly,
to stay here and just switch off the bell or you can start to create a very gentle ripple of movement in the fingers and the toes to awaken the body eventually bending the knees and turning into the fetal position to the right supporting yourself on the right arm and then pushing yourself up into a seated position cross-legged or whatever feels comfortable keep your eyes closed bring the palms together reach the top of the head up tailbone reaches down bow your head to the heart notice your neck throat shoulders are relaxed rub the palms together create heat between the palms and then cover the eyes with the palms softly opening the eyes here with a gentle massage to the face. Hope you enjoyed your practice. Thank you. So remember the throat center is the one when you're feeling like, if it, whenever you feel like really negative or gossipy or judgy, even judging yourself, that can be a sign that the throat center is blocked any kind of aches and pains around this area. So as we're building the energy centers up, the first energy center was the I am, the physical, um, the material world, like all the, that you have somewhere to sleep, you have food, you have clothing, you have warmth. And then we moved into the pelvis, the water element. The, the first is the connected to the earth stability the water element the flowing the connection the I feel and then we moved into the fire the purpose your energy and then we moved into the heart center when you're opening up and you're loving and now we're moving to the higher centers and actually a lot of people can just play around in the first one two three energy centers maybe they get to the heart but we actually only start to move into the higher centers when we become more aware and more mindful on this journey and the throat center is the one when we really connect to our two self and we start to speak from that and whenever you're blocking that that can be sign that you, you know i just had a period when i couldn't communicate i was misunderstood i was judging others myself everything and then that center is blocked I did a lot of neck opening, a lot of inversions, meditation on the throat, mantras, and eventually it showed me where the block was and it released. So it's really good to work with these systems because you can work and heal these areas in your life. They only show up to show you where the blockage is. It, it, uh, pain in the body or emotions or so, they never here to sort of cause us pain. They just show us the way where we need to go to sort of release uh, a disturbance in the body okay if you're interested in this series next 